Hey YouTube, I am Leo with Dancens Ninja and in this video I want to talk about Google's other ads and whether you should use them on your website. So there's a lot of hype about other ads and basically it's an easy way to implement Google AdSense on your website. You basically place one piece of code on your website and it displays ads where Google thinks are the right places for the ads to be clicked and so it doesn't interfere with the user experience. So a lot of websites, a lot of webmasters have switched to other ads. You can see a lot of websites running them now, but I personally like to test things. So I ran a 40 day AB test or split test to find out whether other ads actually works. And here are the results. During the 40 days, my AdSense Ninja plugin that I've developed to help me uh, place AdSense on my blogs, earned $260 during that 40 day test. And at the same time, other ads earned $161. So that's a 61% difference in favor of my plugin. Uh, the, the, re the way I ran the test was I had a plugin that would split the impressions between the other ads and my plugin 50 50 so they both uh, had the same number of impression or equal number of impressions meaning equal amount of people saw one type of ad and equal amount of people saw the other type of ad so clearly the adsense uh, other ads doesn't work as well as google promises um, so basically when google released the other ads a lot of bloggers and youtubers started hyping it for example this guy says it it increases your earnings by 20 percent right here uh there's another guy harsh agraval he says it's a big deal if you watch his video says other ads is a big deal i don't think so because my testing shows quite the opposite if you manually place ads on your website and do it properly you can actually earn 50 60 percent more from your visitors than if you use other ads. So let me show you the details. All right, so here is the report. This is ad formats report. So the only way you can actually see the performance of other ads, and it is on a website that I ran the test on. I ran it from March 22nd through April 30th. So on May 1st, I shut down the experiment. And uh, this yellow bar here, this is my manual placement. So this is the $260 uh, er in earnings that my manual ad placement uh, earned. And these other bars, the red, the blue, these are different formats of other ads. So the in page, the red one or in article, that's like your basic where Google places ads on your website throughout the post. Then the blue one is anchor ads. Those are the small little ads on mobile at the top or at the bottom. I really hate them. I think they just completely ruin the user experience on mobile, but hey, uh, people use them. Now, uh, Vignette is the mobile ads. When you go from one page on the same website to another, in the, between these page transitions, Google sometimes shows you this gigantic full screen ad. So that's Vignette. But overall, you can see that uh, during the 40 day test, my manual placement earned 61% more. So let's uh, go into bar graph or uh, line graph. So again, same timeline. The yellow line is the manual ads. You can see right here and all other lines are other ads combined. Now, if we look at this next report, this is a custom channel for my manual ad placement. And you can see it closely matches the yellow line on this ad formats report. So during 40 days, again, equal number of impressions for my manual ads versus other ads. And the performance difference is... 61 <laughs> percent i mean let, just imagine you make a thousand bucks a month right now with other ads if you switch to mobile ads i mean to manual ads you could be making 1500 1600 bucks a month versus a thousand that's a huge improvement 
So just to put this in perspective, I made this little spreadsheet here and basically during the test, my total income from this website was $421. Again, my AdSense Ninja plugin has made 260 bucks, whereas Google Auto Ads made $161. That is $99 difference or 61% improvement if you go from auto ads to Ninja plugin. And if you go in reverse, that's a loss of 38% in revenue. So basically over 30 day period, I would be making about, or I did make about $195 if we take a 30 day period with AdSense Ninja plugin, $121 with auto ads, and that's a loss of $74. Now, if I continue to run this test throughout a whole year, I would make $2,375 with AdSense Ninja plugin, $1,472 with auto ads, and I would lose about $900 bucks because auto ads performs worse than, than my manual placement. Again, the difference is 61%. And if you look at it from, you know, from the high to low, that's a reduction of 38% in income. Now, if we look at this tab here, let's say I ran only manual placement for those 40 days. I would make $390 during that 40 days. And if I only ran Google ads, other ads, I would make $241. That is... $148 difference or 61%. So if I ran this for a whole year, I would make about $4,600 with my plugin. And if I ran only other ads on my website, I would make $2,900. And I would lose about $1,782 with Google other ads if I ran other ads on my website for a whole year. Now let me show you what my website actually made during the year to show you, to demonstrate that these numbers actually are real. So here is my one year income for this website. This is a full year from May 1st, 2017 through April 30th, 2018. So 12 months, I've made 4,300 bucks on it, 4,309. Now also remember that I lost about 100 bucks during this experiment. So if we add hundred bucks to it, it's $4,400. And you also need to consider that uh, my page views actually went down quite significantly here toward the end of the year. December was pretty slow. So if the page view stayed sort of straight line, about thousand page views a day, I would actually make more than that. So what this means is that this number here is very much realistic. We're only off by about less than $300 on this calculation. And in part because the traffic actually went down during the winter. This report here, this is a RPM or CPM. I think this is the best measurement of website performance. What it means is revenue per thousand impressions or per thousand page views, whichever way you look at it. And uh, so here, this is the part of March from 22nd of March till the end of March. This is the RPM here. Next month it goes up a little bit. So this is all of April. At the end of April, I stop the test and the RPM goes up once again because now it's all manual ads. So about 20% difference between mixed or hybrid other ads plus manual ads versus just straight up manual ads. So once I shut down my experiment, my earnings per visitor went up 20%. And this final graph is the total earnings for the months of April. I just cut March out of it because it wasn't the full month. So you can see the earnings are nearly the same within six bucks. However, during the March of May, my traffic went down. So if we select the page views, you can see it was 31,000 in April and 27,000 inmates, more than 10% drop. However, my earnings actually went up slightly. And you can see this on a 
purple line it went up so purple line is once again the rpm or revenue per thousand impressions and uh, finally just a quick look at my analytics so i've created two separate analytics properties one for manual ads one for other ads and you can see the users or page views um, so almost 15,000 page views for other ads and just above 15,000 so within like 1% 2% difference in page views however 61% difference in earnings I think it's a big deal so what I used for this A-B testing, obviously I used my AdSense Ninja plugin, which you can buy on my website, adsenseninja.com. I also used this plugin from WPMU Dev. It's A-B theme testing plugin. So the way it works is you tell it to split test two different themes. Now for my test, I used identical themes. I set them up. One of them only showed other ads and the other one only showed manual ads and i just let wordpress do the work and this plugin did it and uh they, so the user comes they see either one theme variant a or second theme variant b they cannot see the other because there is a timed cookie set for i set it for 24 hours and it's unlikely that users will come back within 24 hours there. anyway uh most people that came to the site were new users so they only saw one type of ad format and once again other ads lost by a huge margin so if you run a blog that is fairly popular and you monetize it with adsense which is what i highly recommend to many people i also recommend that you get my plugin and in most cases it will pay for itself within a month or two so a few words about AdSense Ninja plugin. I made this plugin for myself and I made it so I can easily and quickly implement AdSense throughout my WordPress blogs. And you can use this plugin to do the same. Also, I built this plugin to maximize my AdSense revenue. Um, so I'm using smart ad placements above the content, below the content, in the sidebar, as well as in comments wordpress comments now if your blog has a lot of comments a lot of discussions going on you can place ads in there and I actually had quite good results with that now uh, also it's built to show uh, native ads for mobile and desktop what that means is you don't have to use google's responsive ad units which don't perform well and i've ran several tests on that and if you look throughout my channel there's actually a video how i pretty much doubled my website income over one hour of work by just switching to manual ads from responsive ads and using this method i can display different ad sizes for mobile and for desktop so your visitors are more likely to click them they're in proper format proper size and so on now the way it works you can actually also do built-in a b testing so this is a demo page and i've created just demo dummy ads so if we re refresh the page you can see that this ad just changed so you can compare different ad sizes in the same placement if we refresh it again it shows a different size and this works for every ad placement that you put your ads in so here are ads and comments Now, I only have one, one variant for comment ads, I believe, right now. Yeah. So, all right. So, here is the dashboard of the plugin. By default, the A B testing is turned off, and you have this left box. This is where your desktop ad goes, and this right box is where your mobile ad goes. So, for example, it, this is the ad at the top of your page. You have two different sizes one for mobile one for desktop and different like for example a user comes from an iphone and they see a different ad size from somebody else who came from a pc and then you can turn on your a b testing and compare two different sizes one say you compare a leatherboard which is this wide 
a banner versus a rectangle or a square. You run that test for some time, then you see which one performs better and you pick that version, you make it default, paste it here, you stop uh, A-B test and you're all set, you start making more money. Now, here is a little uh, bonus, guys, and uh, not everybody knows about it, but if you go to the homepage, adsenseninja.com and in this calculator, which is actually made to help you estimate how much money you can earn from your website. But if you put your name here, just your name, you save 20% on my plugin and it's automatically applied. So this is a code this gives you. However, if you go to buy it now, this code is already applied. You can see 20% saving. So just a little secret, don't tell anyone. Actually do tell people. <laughs> anyway, um, again, I built this plugin first and foremost for myself so I can make more money with AdSense. I've been doing ads, AdSense testing and uh, running AdSense ads for just over 10 years. Here's my, how much I've made during this time. Now this is my part-time gig. I actually do something else as well. but. During this time, I've made over $350,000 with AdSense. And uh, a lot of it came from rigorous A-B testing, just figuring, trying to figure out how to make more money with AdSense, the placement, the ad sizes, and all of that good stuff. Uh, during these 10 years, I've really struggled with uh, mobile versus desktop, especially five, six years ago when this really became an issue. A lot of people started coming online from their smartphones and old websites or old themes, they were not properly made for mobile and AdSense was also not properly made for mobile and that's why Google did their uh, responsive ad unit but my testing shows that it doesn't work well at all. And I will actually make a video about responsive ad units. I'm currently running a test, <laughs> A-B test, where I test responsive ad units and every ad placement versus fixed size units. Uh, the results are already overwhelming. I think it's like five times difference <laughs> in earnings for the fixed size units. But I let the test run for a month so I have better results and I'll let you know. So thank you for watching guys. Again, you can save 20% by using uh, code, uh, discount code START20 at the checkout or if you go to the homepage and just enter your name in the calculator, press start, that will be automatically applied. Thank you for watching. I'm once again Leo with AdSense Ninja. Now, a um, couple more <laughs> words before I finish. With the plugin, um, I will release a videos, uh, a series of videos that will only be available to the people who buy the plugin. There will be restricted content on my website how to properly optimize your website, the best practices, uh, not to get in trouble with Google. This is very important as well as how to make more money with AdSense, which ad sizes work better for me, the test results that I've done, where to place them and all that good stuff. So you can start earning more with AdSense. AdSense is a great program. I really love it. And I've been using it for 10 years and plan to continue doing so for many more years. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, I will put a link in the description for the plugin as well as to my blog. See ya.